Today on the channel from Star Wars, we've got the Black Series Darth Vader electric helmet. The spirit of the warrior will run Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Black Series unboxing and review, but today we've got something entirely different. We've got the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader electric helmet. Yes, an electric helmet that I can wear all around town when I'm hitting the stores, when I'm going to work, I can now live life as Darth Vader because I have the electric helmet. But we're going to unbox this, of course, like we do everything else on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. But I got to thank Zavi. That's where I picked this bad boy up from Zavi. Check out the link in the description below. I also have a code down there. You can use that to save at Zavi as well. Uh, but I got this from them. Very quick shipping as well. So, not a huge helmet guy. You guys have followed along on the channel. I do have a Cobra Commander helmet I bought. I don't know, we unboxed that a year ago on the channel at least. I also got the Snake Eyes helmet from G.I. Joe. Have not unboxed that one, so we should probably knock that out of the out in the videos. I, I bought that about a year ago as well. Need to get both those on display. And that's the cool thing about this. I will have this on display somewhere in my collection room. I think I got an idea. We'll see where it goes. So stay tuned for that, of course. Subscribe, hit the old notification bell on the channel. Let's take a look at the packaging on this one. This is a big box. As you guys can see right here, we got Darth Vader on the very top, Star Wars Black Series on the front. There it is. Very iconic. Is there a more iconic mask? Uh, it's right up there at the top of the list, I would have to say. Uh, everybody knows who this is, even if they don't watch Star Wars. This does take two AA batteries because it is electronic. It does have movie sounds, all kinds of fun like that. I just need to get a cape. Maybe I'll reach out to my friend Lando Calrissian and hopefully find a cape for this guy. Uh, but we'll see. But I might end up living my life as Darth Vader. Why wouldn't I? Uh, some more action there. We've got blurb on the back. You guys know I appreciate a little bit of a blurb action. We'll see what it says back here about Darth Vader. Let's see. Let's see. Darth Vader premium electronic helmet. Realistically detailed interior and exterior reproduction of Darth Vader's iconic helmet. Movie accurate assembly and ventilation sound effects. Authentic multi-piece helmet with adjustable fit. Magnetic connection points between pieces. Now the cool thing is uh, it has the pieces that go together. So it's a, a multi-tiered mask. Just like in the movie, how he had the extra pieces going on. Uh, so I'm excited, but I'm going to take this offline. I'm going to get this out of the box, put it together, and we'll be back with this Darth Vader mask. All right, the Darth Vader helmet is out of the package, and I've somewhat put it together. I still have to put the batteries in it. We'll do that in a little bit. Is Of course, we have to try this thing on, but first I figured we'd go through the helmet. The looks of the helmet, of course. How about that? Look at that. That's Darth Vader. There's no denying who that is. Uh, it looks just like him. It's cool that the electronic sound effects are going to be a part of this. Uh, always fun, but of course, it's got the big helmet going on. We're used to seeing that with Darth Vader, but boy, this just looks like a movie prop right out of the movie. Uh, but the cool thing is, this is multi-pieces, and it is put together with the power of magnets. Yes, magnets. Everybody loves a good magnet. Uh, but you get the top one, and it's got magnets inside that connects it into this. But you could do just the helmet if you wanted to. Looks like something out of Spaceballs is what this looks like uh, with just the helmet, but... Uh, we got that bad boy right there. And then, of course, you got the big, almost always reminds me of TIE Fighters a little bit. I don't know why, but it's nice and black, very mechanical. You can see all the mechanical parts right there. There's the magnets where they connect. There's four magnets on the front right up top there. Uh, but very cool. Then you get a nice gold and black. Uh, nice sculpting work throughout on this bad boy. You get the clear lenses through. You can see right through the mask, of course. So hopefully, you can see through the mask, and you can. It's very uh, clear, very good looking. Nice silver accents here and there on this one to really uh, knock it off like you know with Darth Vader. On the back, even the inside has detail to it. You can see, pull that strap up, and there it is. You can see that interior, beautiful. Looking really nice, the red, the silver. Then you get the head strap. I feel like I'm putting on the old catcher's mask back in the day. Uh, but you got that, and then you can adjust this. It's got a nice kind of cushion to it, a little plastic cushion here for when you want to wear it. Uh, but you can adjust all these so it fits your head, especially somebody with a big head like myself. So very, very good quality, very heavy duty, very heavy for what this is. It's going to weigh a little bit uh, putting this on your head. But without further ado, how about we try this bad boy on? All right, here's the finished product. The three-piece Darth Vader mask is on. 
It does take a little bit of work to get on. You're going to have to do it in front of a mirror at least the first few times. You have to make sure you click just right and everything lines right and you look good. Uh, so it is a little bit of work in front of the mirror. But once you figure it out, it goes on very, very smoothly. You get also some sounds with this one. Is Of course, as I said, it takes two AAA batteries. You got a little button on the side and you can hear, hopefully hear what it says. And that's not just me breathing regularly, that is the sound of the mask. But very, very cool, very good look here. It definitely looks like it could uh, step right out of a movie. A little hard to get on by yourself, especially if you're a long-haired hippie like me. Uh, a little interesting trying to get this bad boy on. But it very much feels good, it feels tight, nice fit, you can see through it. Uh, I'm all in on stuff like this. I'm going to drive this around town in my Jeep, uh, just waving to people as Darth Vader. I might live as Darth Vader going forward. I'm headed to Dallas in a couple of weeks doing a presentation. I might wear this mask for a presentation. We'll see what happens. But very, very cool. I do recommend this, especially if you're a Darth Vader fan. Looks good if you want to cosplay as Darth Vader, but also will look good on a shelf as part of your collection. And that's where it will spend most of its time for me. So very, very cool Darth Vader helmet. Let me grab this off and we'll finish up the video. All right, finishing up this video, this mask, helmet, whatever you want to call it, fit way better than I expected it to. Like I said, I got a big head. I'm a big-headed guy, and this fit very nice. Snug as you'd want it to be, but not overly loose right there in the middle. I can see people, though, that are claustrophobic, get a little scared inside this thing after a while. I'm not one to get claustrophobic, uh, but wearing it for quite a while, uh, it does get a little uh, steamy in there. I was sweating pretty good. It does have the collar piece, then the other piece that goes over, then the helmet over the top, so it is truly a three-piece set. Uh, as you can see right here, it is in magnets, so you gotta uh, pull that off there, but very cool when you get it to just here. But then it breaks apart, like so. Like I showed there, I didn't understand uh, exactly on the uh, sounds here, though the sounds are different. You get the traditional Darth Vader, you know, uh, normal Darth Vader when you have it all connected. But if you have just this piece around your neck, this is the only thing, uh, you get a little new sounds here. So you can tell he's struggling for his breath. But very, very cool. Once again, you got three magnets here, three magnets on this side. So very, very cool very much uh bigger like if you go to a costume store you go to walmart for halloween this is next level above that for sure this is over a hundred dollars this is for serious collectors this is part of the star wars black series uh, they have many different helmets as we've seen from star wars very very cool quality uh, wouldn't be so bad for a nice halloween costume or a display on your shelf so there it is the darth vader black series mask helmet combination what are your thoughts Do you ever pick up any of these things i think boba fett has one i think there's a mandalorian mask curious if you, any of you guys have these at home let me know in the comments down below any of your guys's thoughts how do you display these i'm thinking about one of the thinner billy bookcases putting this cobra commander snake eyes maybe putting those all up and having my big iron maiden eddie uh, statue at the top i don't know i gotta figure it out I gotta put the old pen to the paper but let me know your guys's thoughts on these of course pick this up at zavi link in the description below use my code you can save some money on this as well but very fun very cool and of course on social media at sir paul 64 on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson patreon for this video and a lot of other videos much much earlier and best of all you support the channel and then of course wrestlingtees.com search kyle peterson so for the darth vader black series helmet I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.